Okay, time for a quick review on angles dealing with circles. Okay, so we got four up here, and there's one more uh, that I'm going to put up in a second. First, the easiest one are the central angles. Okay, central angles start in the center of the circle, and they intersect an arc. When they do that, the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of the arc. Okay, so those are pretty easy. What you see is what you get. Inscribed, okay, it's where the vertex of the angle is on the circle, and it intersects an arc uh, in the same circle. So if the measure of the arc is 50 degrees, the angle is the inscribed angle is going to be 25. Okay, so the inscribed angle is one half that measure of the intercepted arc. Okay. Another way to say it is that the intercepted arc is two times the measure of the inscribed angle. Okay? The next one is where we have two chords. They also can be secants if they're extended beyond uh, the boundary of the circle. When they intersect inside the circle, okay, you're going to have two intercepted arcs. Okay, we're looking at arc AC and arc DE. Okay? What you have to do is you have to add these together and then divide by two, and that gives you the measure of the angle created inside uh, that intercepts that arc. Okay? So here's the formula. So if I have A, B, C, all right? If I'm looking for the measure of that, I take one half the sum of arc AC and arc DE. So I have 120 plus 40 gives me 160, divide that by 2, and I get 80 degrees. Okay? The fourth one is where I have an intersection outside the circle. Okay? I have a secant here and I have a tangent here. Okay? I could also have another tangent if I, or another secant if I wanted to, but I'm using this. Okay? So, uh, what I do is I'm looking for the measure of angle S. Okay, that's the intersection out here outside the circle. I have to add together, or I'm sorry, not add, I take the large arc, large intercepted arc, which is QT, the measure of that is 170 degrees, and I subtract the measure of the minor arc uh, that's intercepted as well. Okay, so arc RT is 60 degrees. I subtract 60 degrees from 170, and I have 110 degrees, and I take half of that, and that gives me angle S, which is 55 degrees. Okay? So, that's four of them. There is one more. Okay, with this one, what I'm going to have is a tangent and a chord inside. Okay? It's going to create this angle here. Alright, now the intercepted arc here, arc DE, let's say I have a point out here called F. Okay, the angle I'm looking for, look for the measure of angle DEF, okay, if I have that DE, the arc DE has a measure of 80 degrees, DEF is going to be one half of that. It's going to be one half the measure of arc DE. Okay, so it's very similar to the inscribed angle where you have an intercepted arc and the angle that's created is going to be half of that. So one half of 80 is 40 degrees. Okay? So this angle here is 40 degrees where that intercepted arc is 80. Okay? That covers the five different types of angles that we talked about. It's very quick, it's very short, but hopefully they're pretty straightforward. You can follow the formulas and uh, figure them out from there. All right, see ya.